Hyderabad based Gren Robotics has come up with one of its kind anti drone system that can track, detect, and even eliminate rogue drones which would otherwise pose a threat to national security. What you see behind me is Indrajal, developed by Wing Commander Sai Malela, who is going to give us a demonstration or walkthrough of what Indrajal's capabilities are. For the unversed, drones are being increasingly used as weapons of terrorism. Particularly, there have been multiple incidents of weapons being dropped via drones, narcotic substances being dropped via drones through cross-border terrorism. And that is something which India is currently facing a challenge with. But with Indrajal, it is something which is promising to enhance India's defense capabilities. So I hand it over to Wing Commander Sai to take it forward and explain to us what Indrajal does and how India is going to safeguard its defense through technologies like this one. So thank you very much uh, for having me on the show. What you see here is uh, one of a very unique in interventions which this is called the counter drone system. A counter drone essentially is a drone which can uh, allow you to investigate mm. uh, an incoming threat far away from your own base. You do not want to be vulnerable and want the enemy to come towards you. You would like to reach out, investigate early so that you can engage early. Mm. So one of our unique inventions is this and this is uh, tested over the last couple of years. Mm. We are in a position to deploy this technology and uh, what we test with is a uh, custom drone, the kind that uh, are built uh, across the border, the kind that are built on every rooftop if and the kind of menace that we are facing. We built a variety of custom drones to test the low radar signature, uh, simulate the low radar signature. These kind of drones are launched and uh, they are detected using our unique hypersensing technology which is a combination of several types of sensors, uh, radar being one of them. Mm. What you see here is uh, one of the radars uh, that we have deployed. Uh, we have uh, access to uh, several such uh, sensor systems across uh, active RF mm. and passive RF. Mm. And we also look at the acoustic space, we also look at the thermal space, the optical space uh, to bring data from the entire spectrum uh, which can illuminate an incoming rogue drone. And uh, Indrajal as a concept is built around 12 very, very proprietary technologies. Uh, you can uh, have a look at uh, our command shelter. The entire set of technologies are available to us. The green operating system, uh, which, is the en the, which is the entity uh, related uh, you know, OS built over the last 14 years, perfected. The defense OS, which is basically the decision making engine uh, and sensor fusion engine. Uh, the hive mind is the AI computer, the zombie drone is something that we fly uh, to kill. Mm. The Skycop drone is what if you have just had a glimpse at, it is for investigation. Rig device is our AI device on the edge. Spider mesh is our ex me uh, web network extender. Repulsor is uh, a jammer which can actually repulse incoming drones. Green eye is the electro optic and thermal uh, piece of the jigsaw. Hypersensing is very unique where we fuse detections from multiple sensors and make sure that you realize one real one truth across various spectra that I have mentioned. Weapon fusion algorithm is perfected over the last 10 years. It has seen multiple implementations. Weapon fusion allows us to employ the right weapon against the right threat. Mm. And last but not the least is the uh, unique UI, world class UI and display system that you just witnessed inside the command so, so breaking it down further, Indrajal has uh, capabilities to engage with any size of drone and can cover a widespread area of up to 4000 plus square kilometer and in addition to that it also has the potential to provide security to vital installation strategic infrastructure. What I want to understand is what are the operational uh, mechanism as far as Indrajal is concerned? Can it be operated from anywhere under any circumstances? Yeah, the Nindrajal is a truly network centric system. Uh, we have taken care to ensure that the sensors and the effectors are where they are supposed to be mm. tactically. Mm. They have to be out there, they have to be closer to the object. You have to stop the enemy before it comes deep into your location. So it's a wide area meshed architecture that we are talking about. 
we pushed out the sensors and pushed out the weapon systems but the control remains at the central place so technically the control can be anywhere uh, it could be within the zone that is being defended preferably outside the zone that is being defended all necessary underlying technologies to get the data fuse the data and transport the data layman terms if you could explain to us as much as you can how does indrajal work so indrajal is a wide area county us system when i said uh, us it doesn't necessarily restrict itself to small drones mm -hmm. like micro drones uh, the problem in the drone arena is that we are dealing with very small drones to military class of drones that is the medium altitude long endurance drones and the high altitude long endurance drones which can be employed against us so when we have a full stack of uh, capability in the with the enemy especially uh, adversaries that we know and the la recent three wars are influenced by drones so this uh, anti drone warfare uh, across the entire spectrum of drone capability becomes a important uh, aspect uh, it it's rather an air defense system uh, much larger than a counter drone system so let's call it a counter us system and uh, it needs to be for it to be effective you need to be able to deploy it over a wide area so that you can control from central locations take an example of a national capital region it will have an average radius of 35 to 40 kilometers now considering that it is 40 kilometers uh, of radius so it is literally 6 into 40 240 square kilometers so that is the circumference of this particular area significant size and uh, to cover it you need multiple sensors multiple detectors multiple effectors and if you have such multiple effectors and detectors you still need to have a, you will need to have uh, you may lead into a, what we call a decision chaos with everybody taking autonomous decisions to avoid that kind of a environment we build in Drija. similar problem is when we have a very large economic targets like a refinery or a piece of the international border we need to have unity of control that means you should have one command center taking decisions you should have distribution of sensors distribution of weapon systems for which are called effectors but the control and decision making must be central to cater for all of this uh, across the spectrum in terms of targets uh, we have built in the job and uh, what is the circumference that it can cover in total so technically uh, we call it right sizing it need not be too it should not be too small it cannot be too unwieldy so we think the right size for this is that uh, uh, taking a battle formation uh, we think 4000 square kilometers is a good size uh, to do this indrajal is deployable in small areas like 10 to 15 square kilometers it can scale all the way to 4000 uh, we have taken care to ensure that the system is capable of uh, scaling up from 10 20 kilometers to few hundred kilometers in the case of refineries uh, few thousand kilometers in in the case of large cities and uh, three to four thousand square kilometers in case of the army so it's completely scalable any number of sensors and effectors can be subsumed into the same solution so in breaking down uh, it's basically uh, a system that can detect any kind of sensor currently and also the fact that it can cover large areas as highest 4000 square kilometers now my question to you is in the last few uh, years recently we are seeing drones being increasingly used as tools to manufacture counter terrorism especially whether it is through dropping of weapons or drugs as we have seen multiple cases in Punjab what kind of role can Indrajal play in those areas a very good question because uh we, have, we are seeing increasing menace in the north, uh, in the west, also in the east of, in recent times. Uh, be, beyond narcotics, it's also weapons which are being dropped. So this is a significant threat. So it becomes a live problem, a uh, problem for which we need uh, a scaled solution, a solution which can be easily scalable uh, to cover various sectors of interference. Uh, recent wars have shown that, uh, that, that the threats are not only uh, civilian uh, but also military. Mm. Uh, the one which is panning out now is also getting influenced by uh, drone warfare. So uh, essentially when we looked at uh, Indrajal as a solution, we said uh, 
we need two kinds of uh, effectors and um, two kinds of detectors one is the long range high altitude effector which is the missile class uh, we have significant experience in uh, dealing with this class of uh, uh, modeling weapon modeling the second is this small tactical uh, weapon class like the jammers or the laser weapon uh, which have a few kilometers range uh, as far as sensors are concerned also we have broadly divided it into two different uh, distinct uh, parts one is called the area detector uh, one is called the terminal detector so uh, area detector is typically spread over the entire area that you would like to cover so that the early warning of an incoming uh, threat is available to you for precise tracking guidance and engagement we use what we call terminal F, terminal detectors yeah. something like a radar something like a short range radar so a combination of uh, wide area and point defense is utilized that means uh, precision trackers and wide area trackers precision effectors in short range and uh, long range effectors uh, the the good thing about indrajali is that these effectors need not be uh, at one location they can be spread out over the entire area we have the ability to mesh the data bring the data from far and wide mesh the data in a manner that we have a single uh, inference of truth at the end of the day so if two three four types of sensors do detect the same track we are able to resolve it and bring out an unambiguous air picture once an ambiguous air picture is in place then our rest of the algorithms kick in for identification verification threat assessment weapon assignment and engagement modeling so indrajal is suitable for this very kind of problem which is called the wide area uh, problem for handling this kind of threat here is a mock demo is what you're going to show us obviously we cannot see the entire thing for security reasons but whatever little you can break it down for us and our viewers will be great so technically whichever is a defended area mm -hmm. that defended area will be marked out mm -hmm. okay your assets would be available uh, to run and uh, if we if we have a detection mm -hmm. if you have a detection coming in for example a detection is coming in here mm -hmm. we will be able to uh, when it enters your area mm -hmm. you will commence your engagement using specific uh, engagement sequences mm -hmm. okay and uh, we will select a weapon of choice for example uh, and we can also use uh, lasers we can use jammers we can also use in certain cases long range missiles short range missiles but we also build something called very unique called the counter drone the counter okay, drone okay. is an airborne platform mm -hmm. which is able to reach out to the target uh, much beyond a, a typical engagement sequence will involve a target coming in and your uh, counter drone reaching out so towards the target. the target and this is the counter drone yes. and this is mock uh, this, this is mock the counter drone goes towards the target uh, we can control uh, we can reach out to higher heights further away from your location investigate about what it is our sky cop technology allows us to investigate and once we investigate then we can go into the hard kill mode investigate which is would mean going and assessing what going and assessing seeing what it is if you think uh, it is of significance then you will uh, uh, if it is something significantly uh, non friendly you will engage okay. and uh, we have other uh, mechanisms for engaging that which is called uh, zombie uh, which is called uh, the zombie drone is the kamikaze kind of a drone which can go and intercept.